Intermittent fasting is one of the fastest, easiest, and healthiest ways to lose weight and improve your health. Forget the complex fad diets and click the link below for our fasting system to see results yourself. But for now, today's video. The question, is intermittent fasting a good idea for weight loss? The short answer is yes. When weight loss is the goal you must create a calorie deficit. This means burning more calories than you take in. Intermittent fasting is a powerful weight loss tool to have in the flexible dieting toolbox. First of all, what is intermittent fasting? If, in the simplest terms it is a planned decision to skip meals, fast, and only eat during specific time periods in the day. The goal is to control calorie intake in order to cause the body to burn through its own energy Energy stores e body fat styles of intermittent fasting listed below are a short description of three of the more popular methods of it these include the 16 8 concept lean gains the 24-hour fast eat stop eat random meal skipping let's take a deeper dive into each of these techniques now the 16 8 method the 16 8 concept was popularized by Martin Birkin of lean gains this method calls for fasting 16 hours per day and eating all your calories within an 8 hour window actually easier than it sounds for example eat dinner at 6 p.m. eat breakfast the following day around 10 a.m. the 16 8 concept is powerful because you can use it daily for years and years and years, to take advantage of hormone management and reap the maximum benefits from it. It's the least challenging and most sustainable way to fast, and the method that fits most reasonably into everyday life. The 24-hour fast. The idea of the 24-hour fast was popularized by Brad B. Lone in his excellent ebook Eat Stop Eat. The concept of the 24-hour fast is that once every week, or two, you go a whole day, 24 hours, without eating. For example you eat on Friday at 7 p.m. and then your next meal on Saturday at 7 p.m. There is thought that some of the hormonal benefits from it will not kick in until longer periods of fasting. 24-hour fasts have gained popularity in the past few years. However, I suggest that you work up to these by using shorter duration fasts. I personally follow the 16 8 method almost daily, now it's second nature. But every 46 weeks I'll do a 24 hour fast from a Friday night to a Saturday night. There appears to be benefit, but again, I would slowly work up these longer fasts. I'll also talk about what you should drink during these long fasts here in just a second. Random fasting. As the name implies this method of fasting occurs when you randomly skip meals. This happens most often from just living busy and hectic lives. If you already randomly miss meals throughout the week you should probably tread carefully if you are thinking about additional planned fasting. Let's call the random fasting method. Life just happens. Combining intermittent fasting with exercise for weight loss. Just to recap. Intermittent fasting is a powerful weight loss tool for controlling calories coming in. Combined with exercise, you now have a potent one-two punch to KO unwanted body mass. But, what is the type of exercise, you ask? To that I say strength training in high intensity intervals, such as wind sprints. Strength training will help you preserve your muscle tissue while you lose weight. High intensity exercises like wind sprints, or hill sprints, will help crank your metabolism up to 11, causing you to burn more calories throughout the day than traditional cardio. The debate of high intensity interval training versus cardio is a whole other post in itself. Final thoughts on intermittent fasting for weight loss. Intermittent fasting is a great weapon in the fight to lose weight. If you're new to fasting I recommend starting with something resembling the 16-8 style. So, fast for 16-ish hours and eat within an 8-hour-ish window. This is the simplest technique of intermittent fasting, and a great place to start from. To rapidly speed up your weight loss results consider adding in strength training and or high intensity interval training throughout the week. I wish you the best of luck on your quest. For more answers, or a full guideline on fasting, check out the links in the description below.